Alright guys, I'm gonna show you how to create this intro animation inside of PowerPoint. Now it's pretty simple and it's pretty catchy at the same time. So let's take another look at that. Alright, let's get started. Now I have a new document and the first thing I'm going to do in this new document is right click on the background and click format background and then I'm going to come down to picture texture fill and I'm going to choose a file and then find the project files and choose skyline. This is the background that I'll be using. I'll click close. The right away we can see the sky. The next thing I'm going to do is bring in the hot air balloon. So I'm going to find my project files and drag the hot air balloon into PowerPoint and release. Then I'm going to click on the animations ribbon and for the animation and I'm going to choose fly in. And it's going to fly in from the bottom. So I want to click on animation pane and this is going to allow me to preview my animations if I click play. I can see the animation happening there but obviously and this is too fast so what I'll do is double click on picture and the options for the flying animation comes up and this is where I'm going to start tweaking the animation for timing I'm going to click on the tab and set the duration to about 12 seconds click OK and we can preview this happening and that's way too slow so what I'm gonna do is double click again and this time I'm gonna change the smooth end straight up to 12 seconds and what this would do is start the animation fast and then slow it down as it comes into place and as it reaches into the position the final position it slows down like it would naturally do. I'm going to click and drag it up a little, maybe around here. But what I want to do is have this animation start right when, as soon as the presentation starts. At the top here, it's set to start on click. So whenever I start this animation, if I press F5, it's just going to show me the background and it won't start unless I click. And then the animation starts. Let me escape. I don't want that. I want it to start immediately. And to do that, I'll click on this drop down and set it to after previous. And if I hit F5, it's going to start immediately. So let me escape this. While having the balloon selected, I'm going to hold down the control key and drag. And this will allow me to duplicate a copy. I'll click on the lower handle to resize it. Somewhere around here. So it seems it's in the background. What I can do now is double click and change the timing. And for this time, I'm going to set it to 20 seconds. Click OK. So if I click play, notice the big balloon starts first, but the second one doesn't come up. And that's because the start is set to after previous. So I want both of them to start at the same time. I'm going to click on the drop down and set it to with previous. So both of them start at the same time. If I click play, we can see that both of them are rising at the same time. Click stop. But because this balloon is farther in the background, I would it would rise slower. And what I would want to do is change the delay from 0 seconds to about 2 seconds. Then click OK. And if I click play, we can see the first balloon, the big one starts first, and then the second one comes up. And it's like a race. And as it comes into position, it slows down gradually. Perfect. Alright. I'm gonna click on the same balloon and hold on the control key and draw the third balloon into the scene. Somewhere around here. I just resize it smaller. And for this one, I'm gonna double click and 
leave the timing at 20 seconds and set the duration to zero. Click OK. I click play to see all the animations. And it looks like all of the balloons are rising at the same time, but because they're so spread apart, they would reach to their height at different intervals. Good. I'm gonna click again on this balloon, hold along the control key, and drag it across somewhere around here. And just resize it up a little, somewhere about there. But this time, I'm going to click on the animation and add a tweet and then I'm gonna double click and change the settings for this tweet for the timing I'm gonna set it to 10 seconds and for the repeat I'm gonna click on the drop down and set it to until end of slide now what this will do is have this balloon just in the air gently moving from side to side I'm gonna click on start and set it to wood previous and then click play. Now because this balloon isn't moving up but it's just there shaking from side to side. So it doesn't seem stagnant at all. So that's it for the balloons. The next thing I'm gonna do is come over to the home tab or the home ribbon, click on the type tool and start typing Skyline Marketing. Just position this into place and change the size to about 48. Move it back into place. And I like to use Mirrored Pro font. Uh, so I'll find that. Very pro light semi extended. Then I'll highlight marketing and click on bold. So we have that. Then I'm going to come over to the animations and click feed. And for this, I'm going to set with previous and double click and set the timing to 1.5 seconds and set a delay. To 7.5 seconds. Again, this means that 7.5 seconds into the animation, then the skyline marketing text is going to fade onto the screen. Click OK. Now we can click on this and go along the control key and drag out a second text. We are right. Rising above the clouds. Move this up. Then change the size to maybe about 24. Right wrong there. Click on italic. And I can change this font to Merit Pro Semi Extended. Let's give it a little more bold look. Use the arrow key to move it up. And now I can click on the color and add maybe a black text as. 25% lighter so skyline marketing would stand out more let's move this a little more I'm holding the control key to have smaller incremental moves if I didn't hold the control key it was just move in big jumps all right I'm gonna double click on this text and set the timing to 9 seconds delay and the duration to 2 seconds so if I hit play, we can see the animation in its full nature. 